Okay, so now on my awesome subwoofer setup with a simulated amplifier, I'm going to show you how to parallel two dual coil subwoofers. So this would be how you take two dual 4 ohm subwoofers and wire them to 1 ohm, or you would take two dual 2 ohm subwoofers and wire them to 0.5. Also a question I get a lot is how do you take two dual 2 ohm subwoofers and wire to 1 ohm or how do I take two dual 4 and wire to 2 ohms. You really can't do that unless you're planning on wiring just one coil up from each sub and then you can wire them together so the two dual 2s could take one coil from each and then wire it down to one but as I said in the other video I would not recommend that because you're gonna greatly reduce the power handling of each sub it will physically work um, but that's not how it was designed so so don't do it all right so next you're gonna take uh, four positives four negatives to wire these in parallel so basically you're going to have one positive on each coil, one negative on each coil, and then you're going to wire these together. All the positives together, all the negatives together. You can also use a short jumper to go from one coil to the other coil. So you take a positive to one positive on here, and then jump the positive from here to the other. But a lot of that is dependent on what size wire you're using. I like to use 8 gauge for my subwoofer wiring. Uh, if you're using something smaller, like a like a 12 gauge, you may be able to make it fit in the terminal to get over to the other one. Uh, but I'm using 8 gauge. I like to use 8 gauge because it's fat and it makes me feel a lot better about my sorry little life. So here I have all of the positive wires hooked up. Four coils, four positive wires. Now I did the same with all of the negatives. Four coils, four wires. So now all of the negatives are hooked up. Okay, so the next step, now that you have all of your positives hooked up and all of your negatives hooked up, you're going to bring all the positives together and put them in the positive of the amp and all the negatives together and put them in the negative of the amp. Okay, so remember that the original coil reading from each one of these, the actual reading was 1 ohm. So you have four coils, one ohm each. These are all parallel now. So you're seeing it fluctuating between 0.2 and 0.3. The actual reading is around 0.25 because you're taking a one ohm coil and a one ohm coil and bringing it down to 0.5. And you're taking 0.5 and 0.5 and you're bringing it down to 0.25. So this is a parallel coil, parallel sub configuration. So <clears throat> this would also work by bringing two dual four subwoofers down to one ohm or two dual two ohm subwoofers down to 0.5 ohms. So that's something to consider when you're buying your amplifier subwoofer combination. So that wasn't so bad. That was wiring two dual coil woofers in parallel. You're going to be bringing your impedance or your, your final ohm load down. Um, watch the previous video of wiring a single subwoofer in parallel or in series, or you can stay tuned for the next video, and I'll show how to wire these two subwoofers in series parallel. Ooh.